Hi guys, uh, we're not in the car today. We're actually in my apartment and that's my dog. And I wrote down everything I wanna talk about concisely so that we can just get through this. No rambling, no ranting, anything like that. So what I wanna talk about today is YouTube because I have wanted to make videos on YouTube ever since I was at least a senior in high school, which would be um, about 11 years, because I was class of 2013. But for some reason, I never uploaded or made anything. Um, and I'm gonna explain exactly why. So whenever I'm thinking about my emotions, like regret, I like to go through and analyze it um, in a couple different ways. One option is why, what, why? So for me, my first why is um, why did I behave the way that I did? Or why did I take that action? In this case, it would be why did I not ever upload videos to YouTube for now 11 years? And I just started uploading in 2024. Um, and it's basically in March of 2024. Why did I wait so long to start making videos, right? You can do this too. Why did you do the thing you did? Why did you not do the thing that you want to do? In my case, I think that I didn't take action sooner because I was afraid of failure. I thought if I don't have editing software, if I don't have a microphone, a camera, not only will people not want to watch, but they might be mean. I don't know. I don't know what the worst case scenario is. Whatever it was, I was letting it hold me back. So my fear of failure led to a decade of, um, what's the word? Procrastination. And so what would I do differently since I'm feeling a little bit of regret? Oh, I kind of drew stuff when I got bored. I would have started sooner if given the chance. And usually in cases like this, if I can't do the thing that I would have done differently next time, or if I can't change it, uh, well, if I can't go back and change it, then I think, what would I do next time? What I would do next time is, well, going forward, right? I will challenge myself more. So when I want to try something like, uh, what would be a good example? Um, like a tutorial, I kind of want to do a how to shave for men because it's going to be shaving your face and that's, that's all I know. Uh, then, then I should do that as soon as possible. I'm not going to let not having good editing or a great camera or any of that set stands in my way. So maybe that will be my goal is to make a tutorial and upload it to my channel by the end of, why not by the end of April? There's no reason not to. I'm not gonna let limitations hold me back, like not having a good mic um, or a computer to edit. And then I wrote more on here. I also wrote, and I will appreciate how much feedback I've gotten so far. Um, which means even if I regret not starting sooner, that doesn't negate the fact that there are 200 people here subscribed to the channel basically overnight that came out of nowhere. And uh, it's, uh, it's mind boggling. It's, it's seriously, I expected zero views. Even on my video game stuff that I don't really, I put effort into them, but they're definitely shit posts and they're definitely just jokes. I never expected more than 50 views maybe i really didn't have a number and what's crazy this is true is that april 3rd i made a goal to get a thousand views on one singular video at least a thousand and i thought my first upload my outward video was gonna eventually get there and all of a sudden i uploaded this video talking about basically what i want my channel to be about you know millennial and gen z basically 
I don't know, just, just, it's almost like a journal, this YouTube channel. When I made my first video, it's got 7,000 views and it's, it's been up for about five days. I, guys, it's, it's been like a week since I set my goal. I, I don't even know what I did right. I'm just so lucky and I'm extremely thankful. Waiting a decade doesn't change any of that. I really, really do appreciate anyone who's seen any of my content. Um, and then I said, I do what, or I'm sorry, why, what, why? Because the second why is different. The second why is, why am I proud of myself? What is the positive that I can take away from this lesson or from this experience? There's so much positive to take away. I mean, who cares how late you start if you get any sort of feedback? I don't think that you should upload your art or your music or your, um, your videos for validation and for views and you shouldn't track that kind of stuff. It's gotta be bad for your mental health. Um, but I can say that I'm proud of myself because I started anyways. I don't know why, but I did start in March. I just thought this is what I really wanna do. And I'm sick of feeling like, because I can't afford to do this and do high quality videos that I'm sick of not doing it for that reason. It's not good enough. It's not good enough to hold us back. So the lesson is there is nothing to be afraid of. And the positive is that I love doing this. So it's something that I wanna do. And any feedback at all, any reception, one view is better than zero. I never expected any comments anything i i am truly like and anytime i watch a youtuber and they go on and on about guys we hit five thousand, i'm like this is boring dog only you care but now i get it because i never ever expected more than 10 views i really think that uh that i'm just so lucky i i just appreciate you guys so that's what i do when i feel like right now, I feel overwhelmed with not regret, but with good emotions. I feel like this is crazy that anyone's watching. 100 people, 200, 10, 1. But 7,000 people on my first video is just phenomenal. I couldn't be more proud. That's something that you guys, should, first of all, we should be proud of ourselves for anything we accomplish. Um, especially when we set goals and we reach them. And I recognize that a lot of it was luck and I'm so fortunate. I really don't know what to say except for thank you. Like, thank you so much for watching a small channel with shitty thumbnails that look like this is the background. Um, I don't edit for two reasons. One, I feel like uh, you guys should see what I'm thinking authentically. If I edit stuff out, then what's the point? This isn't like a conversation. It's not authentic. It's not real. And secondly, uh, editing videos like this is such a pain in the ass on my phone. It's not worth it. I'm sorry. I would rather write down notes and try to keep it under 10 minutes for you guys. So I hope that that's something you find relatable. You know, maybe there's something you wanted to do, but you thought... I need to go to school first, you know, apply for that job. I, I, I haven't even told you about how I failed my way upwards from minimum wage at Chipotle to $24 basically an hour just sitting in a call center. And call centers do suck ass. There's a reason why they pay you so much and why that 401k is so good. I will also talk about savings and 401k at some point because there's a lot of people that we follow. Um, my parents love Dave Ramsey, but that dude's a fucking millionaire. You know, uh, if you guys wanna know how I budget and save money and how I plan on retiring, I'm gonna share that. So yeah, thanks for hanging out and letting me ramble about stuff. I uh, cannot tell you how much it means to me to have someone out there stop and leave their footprint with a comment, 
with anything, man. Watching my videos for five seconds and getting it so the more people watch, I, uh, I feel like I don't deserve it, you know? But I don't want to say that about me because I don't want you guys to think that about you. You know, we deserve everything we work for. So, okay, we're past 10 minutes. I've been rambling. Thank you for going with the, why did I do the thing I did? What would I do differently? And why should I still be proud? Like, why should I, like, why should I forgive myself? Why should it be okay that I did that? You know, there's nothing wrong with our mistakes, you know? Why should I still be positive about this? Why should I be positive? Because I'm getting reception and because this whole time, like I said, there was nothing to be afraid of. It's two reasons why this is a positive lesson. There was no reason to be afraid. And I love doing this for you guys and for myself. Okay, thanks. Bye.